Hello YouTube, Gbo Unit here, and here's part two of assembling the AR-15. Um, this is the lower receiver, and um, I'm going to assemble the lower in two different, probably in a couple of different vids, but uh, I wanted to make sure that I get this um, done here. Um, I went ahead and I protected um, part of the receiver with some tape. And I did a couple things. I did a couple things beforehand because it did take a while. Um, this bolt stop um, pin here was a pain. Okay, that thing you you do need to get a tool. It looks like a punch, except it has a a hole at the end, and it's you know you put these these pins inside of this and you and it helps hold it in place while you you know hammer it in um, these pins go in by pressure so what I ended up doing is um, I didn't have the right tool so I basically had to hold on to this and just kind of hammer it in just get it started and <laughs> Basically, this is what I ended up doing. I got it lined up, okay, and through trial and error, I got an extension bar for my ratchet set. Nice. Um, lined it up like so, so that I could hold it, and then I took a rubber mallet and hit the end of it and knocked it in like so okay that was real difficult to do I mean I I had a lot of a lot of heartache trying to get that thing put together Jeez, I got ballast all over the place but that's okay I'll just bathe all these parts in ballast all alright the next the, uh, the actually the the real first thing that you want to do is um, let me put this receiver down you got oil all over the place now. Um, is take our pivot pin here and make sure that it fits well. Okay, so it's going to go into the front of the receiver here. Actually, this is the right way because it actually fits in like so. You can see how the head of this is kind of like that? It'll fit in just like this. So. As long as it slides in there pretty easy, that's good. If it's tight, as long as you don't have to hammer it in, is you know, that's okay because as you work with this and clean it or whatever, you're you're going to be taking this in and out, in and out, working the pivot pin, and it's going to eventually wear itself in. But this is a pretty good fit. It goes in pretty pretty easily. Okay, so now. Now that that goes in uh, quite well, um, another thing you want to check is these little holes here. There's one right here. See that hole right there? There's one there, and there's one. Oh, I covered it up. Let me undo this so I can show you. Basically, what uh, you know, those are holes for your. Um, oh gosh, what are they called again? For the the detent springs. Oh, sorry for the slight delay here. Okay. There's the other hole right there. Basically, what 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 you do is. Um, uh, so you get a drill bit. We're not going to drill anything. We're just cleaning out. Just stick that in there just to just kind of see that how it goes in like so. I'm just twisting it. What I'm doing is just making sure that, you know, this is a new molded piece. I'm just making sure that um, there's no, um, what do you call that? That there's no 
bead blast material or anodizing or anything like that in there. Um, it's just to clear it out so that um, the spring is not messed with when you put it in here and doesn't sit all cockeyed. You see? So all I'm going to do is just put this in here and just making sure that it's clear. So it's pretty clear. Nothing doing here. All right. So now that that's cleared out, I can go ahead and assemble this on here. Now, got to be real careful here. Okay, here's here's the detent hole right here. I'm going to get this spring and I'm going to insert it. Okay, the detent spring. It's going to go right in here, like so. And then one of the detents. Okay. That's going to go right on top of here. Okay, see how it's sticking out? It won't go very much further in there because um, because of the spring. Now this is where you have to be real careful because if you let this thing go, you're going to lose that detent. It's going to go firing across the room and um, it's not going to be a good, a, a pretty sight. So here's what I'll end up doing here. All right. Okay, this pivot pin, you're going to have to press it in, press this down and shove it across. Now, there is a makeshift tool you can use to get this thing started, but since I do not have that, I'm going to have to try to do this the hard way. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, oops, wrong piece. I'm going to get this and press it down and work it right through. So, here we go. Just have to make sure I get a firm grip. Oh, you see that? There it went, and luckily it fired right at the camera. So let's try this again. That was kind of odd. All right. So I have to make sure that work down. Did you hear that click? Here's why it clicked. See that groove right there in the pivot pin? That detent went into that groove, okay? So that prevents this from twisting around while it's out. So, okay. So now that it's in there, see, oh, you, you can kind of see it right there. You can kind of see where the detent is sitting in that groove now. Okay, and then all I got to do is just, you know, just finish it off, push it all the way through. There we go. All right. There's our pivot pin. And you can press this, that you know, to move the pin out. Just like so. Okay, well, all right, there's one part. Okay, now, <clears throat> the next will be the bolt stop. This will actually go right here, like so. All right, but of course, there are other pieces that have to uh, get put together on here first. All right, now, the problem child right here bolt stop pin right here was a chore to get on there so what I did is I went ahead and did this ahead of time and you only want to put it in part way you don't want it to get too far in hopefully that focus is okay okay so if you if you hammer that pin in too far it will go right into that gap and you won't be able to put the um, bolt stop in there so you want to do is leave it like so okay 
and there's a hole right there see that hole that is where you're gonna put a bolt stop spring so here's the bolt stop spring remember these two pieces right here this spring and this piece right here this is the uh, bolt stop detent so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it just like that stick that in this hole right here okay you see that it's just like that now all I got to do is put this here like so oh let me as a side note just remember that this pin here when you drive it through it's gonna go right through this hole okay it's gonna catch right through that hole and attach this bolt stop to this receiver by this pin so stick that in here Sorry, I'm not watching this very well. Okay. Okay, it'll go in there like so. Actually, it feels like I hammered that a little bit too far. Hmm, maybe not. Let me try to back it out a little bit. Oh, shoot. I think I've got the wrong piece here. Oh, I can't back it out. I think it, it looks pretty flush. Let me try it again. Where did it go? Okay, here we go. It might be resistant because of the spring. This button here. Alright, let's try this again. Oh. bit of ballast all for my extras for my fingers all right she's Louise okay I just want to make sure that this hole lines up. Okay, it looks like it's lining up fairly well. I'm getting paranoid about making sure this hole lines up. Let me take one more look. Okay, I believe that's it. So I'm going to go ahead and 
finish this off. Okay, here I go with my ratchet thing here. So I'm going to kind of hold that in. Boy, it's like I need four hands here. I'm going to go ahead and is proving to be a little bit of a challenge. As a matter of fact, I think this needs to be held in. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get a piece of duct tape and hold that down. I believe it caught. Let me take a look here. Caught. Okay. Okay, good. It's pivoting. That's that's good news. All right. Finish this off. Trying to be real careful with this thing. All right, looks good. down a little bit more. Okay, so let me get this thing off of here. Okay. I can always clean that later. Okay. All right. So far, so good. extra tape okay all right all right well we got that part done 
Now, the next part, I've got all my parts mixed up already. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put together trigger assembly. Okay. I'll go ahead and take this. Okay. Remember, there's a the, the spring detent right here, and that is going to go into the forward part of the receiver here. Um, you see how there is no hole to speak of on this side, but there's one right here, and there's it's through and through right here. Okay, this this rear part is where you're going to have the um, the the uh, trigger housing pin. That piece right there. Okay, that's going to go in here. Now let me p go ahead and put together the uh, the trigger guard. See here, it's going to go right here. It's flat here. There's nothing here. That's going to go up against here. So. All I'm going to do is press that in like so, okay, and, oops, I just, just do it like this, until it snaps in, just like that, okay, that'll go in just like so. Okay, now, the next thing I'm going to do is, um, I don't have a press, so I'm going to, you know, hammer it through this way, except now, what I'm going to do is, you know, make sure I have a solid base. My Swiss Army knife will be the solid base right here. Something plastic, not metal. Okay. So that's nice and solid there. And I'm going to take this, put in some ballastol, some oil in there. And basically, I'm going to, you know, force it through all the way through. So I'm going to get it started first. And I swear starting these things is so difficult. It's like I, I've got to get, you know, and the thing is you need like a real solid wrap on it so of course I don't have a, a real hammer I always have to be mindful of this base here Swiss Army knife my trusty Swiss Army knife you know what to avoid getting my fingers smashed I'm gonna improvise oops Improvise with this. Okay, got it started. And I just have to make sure that this is lined up. If I don't line that thing up, boy, I'm going to be screwed. Okay, so. Ah, okay, got it. Okay. Okay, now it's lined up. All I got to do now is just finish it off. I'm paranoid. Do not want to scratch this up too much with my incessant banging. All right, here we go. Almost there. There we go. I wonder 
wonder if I can punch that even further down. Check something out here. Let's see if I can try to hit this down a little bit. Okay, it's pretty flush. Good enough for me. All right. Okay, there we go. So, basically, let me test something out here. Okay. I guess this uh, to enable you to to you know be able to pivot this open. If I had to, if I need, you know, gloved hands or something needed to open this for some reason, it'll pivot. So, there's that. Okay. All right. So, there we go. So far, so good. All right. Now, next, I'm going to go ahead and put together the trigger. Okay. So, I was told that the, the, the trigger, the spring, has to be with these ski tips up, okay? And it's actually going to go on like, like this, just like that. Now this, this part right here has to be underneath this. So when you put it on, it's going to be just like that. So I just put these. over just like that okay here we go all right the next part of the trigger is this green spring now if you notice on this spring gosh the focus is horrible um, this spring is fat on one it's kind of wide on one end and it's skinny on the other or the the bottom spring is just extra wide the the coil is is weird it's wide so um basically i just have to put this in here like so let to see what it twist is i gotta twist it clockwise like so that's so that it seats right in there just like that okay alrighty and that's it really make sure I okay all right okay well that takes care of the trigger all right now I'm gonna go ahead and stop this video and um, and I'll make another part. This this is already getting into a half an hour. So let me let me uh, do a part three and continue with the um, construction of the lower.